What is up, guys? It is December the 16th, currently 1.44 p.m. Markets are still live, and I am still watching MIRM. Now, this is the only stock I traded today. I traded it twice in my live TradeNet account. As you can see here, I'm up $306. A little disappointed in that because if I had held my first entry for 30 minutes, this would be $4,300. But it is what it is. I seen green, I took it, and I ran. I just wanted to finish in the positive. Uh, the account, well, if I click on this screen and not OBS, is in the green $124 now. Uh, I was in the red, like 200 bucks, uh, so I'm happy about this. I want to be above 14,000. I want to stay above 14,000, but I'm still watching it because there's still potential. Now, drag this over here. Now, this is my TD Ameritrade chart. Uh, I paper traded it today in this account, and I'm finishing it up $1,664 in it. I'm very happy with that because. I wasn't really paying attention to this one. Uh, I started trading it after, you know, I traded my main account. So a lot of the bulk of the move was already done. But and I was in I was in the red like sixteen hundred bucks or seventeen hundred bucks. So I mean I, that was coming back out of the red pretty heavy. And uh, I will upload the live trading video from today as well. So total finishing up just under two thousand dollars which uh, I guess is not too awful bad so I mean all of it was on MIRM which uh, is a recent IPO not like crazy recent but recent enough I'm gonna drag an individual chart over and there it is Pop <laughs> just popped up over there Okay, well, M I R M, not an alert set. If this goes off, I will be looking to trade it. But, like I said, uh, let me pull up the daily chart. So, if you pull up the daily chart, the history only goes back to, that ain't right, July. Yeah, July 18th. So this is the day the IPO came out, and it was trading under, or well, it had a high of like 15.50. So this morning, when we seen it gapping up to 11 something or whatever it was, I was like, I will be very interested over 15.50, but you know, I'll I'll trade it up through here too. So. The market opens and I'm watching like six different stocks. This is one of the six. Uh, I honestly didn't think it was going to make the move it did because the news that came out on it was we had a meeting and that was pretty much it. It like wasn't amazing. It's not like they were releasing a new product or a new product was, you know, crazy awesome or whatever. So, uh, they, you know, it got called out. It's moving up. My first entry is right here at 932.56 at 13.35. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, okay. So, yeah, 13. Ah, so sensitive. Boom. This was my first entry, 19.35. And as you can see, it hit a high of 22.43. So if I'd have held from here to... 22, just to 22. So either one of those points, from, if I'd have held this original trade from there to there, it would have been $4,315. That would have been nice. But I didn't hold. I sold it in this candle. At, I sold half at like 14.04, and then it hit a high of 14.75 in that candle. Then I sold the other half. Let's see, so I had 500 shares. Sold 250 at 1404. Sold the other 250 at 1360. Ugh, what a terrible trade. I mean, it was a good trade, but you know, we was unsure of what it was going to do because the news just wasn't amazing. So, got in this little uh, ascending triangle, broke out of it. I was 
you know, scared to get in under this 1550 mark because that was the, the you know, the high of from the past. So I waited, it broke through, came back down. I should have got in here on this dip, but I didn't. I ended up getting in at 16 right here. Oh, well, that's why I didn't get in the dip. I was already in it. So I got in at 16 right here. It's halted. Comes out of the halt and I sell pretty quick. So I got in at 16.01, come out of the halt and I sell at 16.38 and that's it, I'm done. I'm not trading anymore. Cause I was just scared I was gonna you know, lose the profits I had. So like I said, I should have got in on this dip here. That would have been a perfect entry. And then I would have rode it up here and I got halted here, you know, come out, squeezed up more. I mean, I just, I wasn't expecting this big of a move from a stock that just didn't have that great of news. But it is what it is. Right now it did have a little pop here, had some volume, a lot more volume than it's been having. Probably need to change to a five minute chart. I'm gonna move these drawings here because they're useless now. And like I said, I am looking to trade it again if an opportunity presents itself because it is on like kind of a massive U-shape. Uh, let me pull the big chart back up. The alert hasn't went off yet. So it came up, consolidated, came back down, U-shaped around, couldn't go any higher, so it's been breaking down. Now this is kind of interesting. Now I'm not going to count this trade as any profits or anything. But I, I was watching it on my phone, and I noticed this trend line. And as it broke through, I said, I'm going to go short right here at 1890. So it breaks through, just drops straight down. And I was hoping to cover half at 17. It didn't quite make it to 17. Let's lower that. Uh, 17 would have been right here, so it didn't make it that far. But, you know, come back up. I just held. Um, I noticed this trend line coming down form, so I was kind of hoping that and 17 would come together and it would break down faster, but it didn't. It broke through that and on the way up, I was like, well, I'm getting out at 18, so it would have been here. Just the full position, and I was imagining, you know, go short like 500 bucks, and like I said, I, I'm not counting any of it because it's not, none of it was, you know, logged through my paper trading or anything, so came all the way back up and I was like I'm gonna get in at the, you know right at this line it didn't quite touch it so you know I just kind of like well I got in you know basically like 1915 short another 500 bucks so it creeped down creeped down creeped down it gets to 17 cut off half so 250 at 17 and then I'm like well I'm gonna cover the other half at 16 gets all the way down to 16 so boom so short 500 from basically 1915 taking half at 17 half at 16 that would have been just an amazing trade I didn't even do the math to what it would have been but I mean that's just kind of what I was thinking and then after it you know touched 16 I was out and then it came back up and I was like well I'm gonna watch it and it's just been consolidating under the VWAP and now I'm waiting in for it to break 1750 and then break the VWAP if it does both of those things I'm definitely gonna be looking for an entry and it is very close to uh, getting back up to 1750. It's just the volume is really slow right now because this is considered lunch hours for the stock market. So anyways, that's uh, my trading for today. I know I haven't uploaded the uh, market recap from Friday and I don't think I uploaded one Thursday but I think the one I did Friday I made the video I just haven't uploaded it been kind of procrastinating got a lot going on you know the holidays coming up and all that stuff so we're just really busy but I'm gonna try to get all the videos uploaded get everything squared away uh, I haven't even uploaded my trades today to uh, trader view yet so none of that's accurate right now but I will get it all uploaded and 
probably go over my trader view stats tomorrow. But anyways, that's uh that's my trading for today. So far up $1900. Thanks for watching.